Hi, I'm Chris Hazelton welcoming you to this week's edition of the Estes Park News Weekend Report for the first weekend in August. The Marshall Tucker Band will be playing in Estes Park this Friday night. Amplified Souls, a classic and contemporary pop, rock, and blues group, opens the evening at 6 p.m. Then, at 8 o'clock, it's time for the headliner, the Marshall Tucker Band. The Marshall Tucker Band is an American Southern rock band formed in 1971 by singer Doug Gray. The group's style combined rock, country, and jazz and released their debut album in March of 1973. They gained recognition through a tour with the Allman Brothers Band and found success during the course of the 70s with most of their albums going gold. Their peak came with the million-selling album Carolina Dreams and top single Heard It In A Love Song in 1977. Tickets to see the Marshall Tucker Band are available at the fairgrounds at Stanley Park. Ticket prices are $39 for general admission, box seats are $59, and $69 gets you into the party zone. For more information, call 586-6104, and for additional ticket information, call 577-3920, or go online to estes.org slash events. Here and There in Pastel is a new show set to open at the Art Center of Estes Park. The show, featuring the artwork of Carol Haslock, opens this Friday, August 3rd, and runs through September 9th. Carol has spent most of her life involved with art, and she devotes her time to paintings which focus on florals, landscapes, animals, and many elements of nature. Her love of color is evident in her paintings. Don't miss this beautiful new show at the Art Center of Estes Park, located in Lower Stanley Village. There'll be a special opening reception held this Friday from 5 to 7 p.m. Call 586-5882 for more information. It's time for the Fine Arts Guild production of Schoolhouse Rock Live, opening this weekend. Students have been busy rehearsing this show, which is based on the popular educational animated shorts aired during the Saturday morning programming in the 70s and 80s. The kids have worked hard to master the harmonies and combine dance and action to bring these cartoons to life. Performances will be held this Saturday, August 4th at 7.30 p.m. and Sunday, August 5th at 2 p.m. at the Estes Park High School Auditorium. Tickets will be available at the door. Don't miss this fun and nostalgic show. It's time to reserve your seats for the John Denver Tribute Concert to be held on Saturday, September 1st at the fairgrounds at Stanley Park. Keeping John Denver's legacy very much alive, Estes Park's very own Brad Fitch will perform Denver's most beloved songs in this crowd-pleasing 9th Annual Tribute Concert. This concert thrills crowds every year and draws hundreds of people who come to be part of the Rocky Mountain High. This event is organized by the Estes Park Lions Club and all proceeds are distributed throughout our community in the form of local scholarships and various eyesight and hearing organizations. General admission tickets can be purchased in town at Hobart Office Services, McDonald Bookshop, and the Visitor Center. Box seat tickets are also available. On the day of the event, tickets will be for sale at the West Grandstand Gate. Call 402-7348 or visit moline67 at gmail.com for more information. <laughs> this week we're going to leave you with some beautiful photos by Dick Orleans of the Summer Hummers. The hummingbirds are very busy this time of year. Three species are prevalent at our hummingbird feeders right now, the broadtail, the rufous, and the calliope hummingbirds. All are beautiful little birds that are fun to watch.
Thanks for watching this week's edition of the Estes Park News Weekend Report. I'm Chris Hazelton and we hope to see you back here next week.